Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Merlin engine for the Hurricane was built at the factory where I did my apprenticeship, after a year of broad based engineering training and to my surprise receiving above average marks for hand skills I was given my first trade choice as an apprentice sheet metal fitter for jet aero engines. The Hawker Hurricane is a British single-seat fighter aircraft of the 1930s and 40s which was designed and predominantly built by Hawker Aircraft Limited for service with the Royal Air Force. It was overshadowed in the public consciousness by the Supermarine Spitfire during the Battle of Britain in 1940, but the Hurricane inflicted 60% of the losses sustained by the Luftwaffe in the campaign and fought in all the major theatres of the Second World War. The hurricane originated from discussions between RAF officials and aircraft designer Sir Sidney Cam about a proposed monoplane derivative of the Hawker Fury biplane in the early 1930s. Despite an institutional preference for biplanes and lack of interest from the Air Ministry, Hawker refined their monoplane proposal, incorporating several innovations which became critical to wartime fighter aircraft including retractable landing gear and the more powerful Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. The Air Ministry ordered Hawker's interceptor monoplane in late 1934 and the prototype Hurricane K5083 performed its maiden flight on 6 November 1935. The Hurricane went into production for the Air Ministry in June 1936 and entered squadron service in December 1937. Its manufacture and maintenance were eased by using conventional construction methods so that squadrons could perform many major repairs without external support. The plane was rapidly procured prior to the outbreak of the Second World War. In September 1939 the RAF had 18 hurricane-equipped squadrons in service. It was relied upon to defend against German aircraft operated by the Luftwaffe, including dogfighting with Messerschmitt Bf 109s in multiple theaters of action. The hurricane was developed through several versions, bomber interceptors fighter bombers, and ground support aircraft as well as fighters, versions designed for the Royal Navy known as the Sea Hurricane had modifications enabling operation from ships, some were converted as catapult-launched convoy escorts. By the end of production in July 1944, 14,487 units had been completed in Britain and Canada, with others built in Belgium and Yugoslavia, pre-war. By the middle of 1938, the first 50 hurricanes had reached squadrons and at that time, it had been assessed that the rate of production was slightly greater than the RAF's capacity to introduce the new aircraft which had already been accelerated. Accordingly the British government gave Hawker the clearance to sell excess aircraft to nations that were likely to oppose German expansion. As a result there were some modest export sales made to other countries at the earliest opportunity. A former RAF Hurricane 1 was dispatched to Yugoslavia for evaluation purposes. Shortly after this evaluation an order for 24 Hurricane Mark 1s for the Royal Yugoslav Air Force was received, this was followed by the purchase of a production license for the Hurricane by Yugoslavia. Yugoslavian Hurricanes saw action against the Luftwaffe during the invasion of Yugoslavia in 1941 by the Axis powers. To the end of August 1939, 14 hurricanes had been sent to Poland on 30 August 1939 heading to Constanza in Romania. These planes never reached Poland and ultimately were sold to Turkey. Seven XRAF hurricanes had been sent to South Africa, while another 13 XRAF hurricanes were sent to Turkey. 13 hurricanes had been built for Belgium. 21 for Canada including one as a pattern for Canadian car and foundry, one for Iran, one for Poland, three for Romania and 12 for Yugoslavia. All the built for export aircraft were taken from the RAF order and so all originally had an RAF serial number. Further exports were done in the final four months of 1939 and early 1940. 
Hurricane production was increased as part of a plan to create a reserve of attrition aircraft as well as re-equip existing squadrons and newly formed ones such as those of the Auxiliary Air Force. Expansion scheme included a target of 500 fighters of all types by the start of 1938. By the time of the Munich crisis, there were only two fully operational RAF squadrons of the planned 12 to be equipped with hurricanes. By the time of the German invasion of Poland there were 16 operational hurricane squadrons as well as a further two more that were in the process of converting. Battle of Britain, at the end of June 1940, following the fall of France, 31 of Fighter Command's 61 fighter squadrons were equipped with hurricanes. The Battle of Britain officially lasted from the 10th of July until the 31st of October 1940. But the heaviest fighting took place between the 8th of August and the 21st of September. Both the Supermarine Spitfire and the Hurricane are renowned for their part in having defended Britain against the Luftwaffe. Generally, the Spitfires intercepted the German fighters, leaving Hurricanes to concentrate on the bombers. And despite the undoubted abilities of the thoroughbred Spitfire, it was the workhorse Hurricane that scored the higher number of RAF victories during this period accounting for 55% of the 2,739 German losses, according to Fighter Command compared with 42% by Spitfires, on 8 August 1940. Hurricanes of No. 145 Squadron were recorded as having fired the first shots of the Battle of Britain. The highest scoring Hurricane Squadron during the Battle of Britain was the No. 303 Polish Fighter Squadron. This squadron also had the distinction of having the highest ratio of enemy aircraft destroyed to own losses suffered. As a fighter, the Hurricane had some drawbacks. It was slightly slower than both the Spitfire 1 and 2 and the Messerschmitt Bf 109E, and the thicker wing profiles compromised acceleration but it could outturn both of them, in spite of its performance deficiencies against the Bf 109. The Hurricane was still capable of destroying the German fighter especially at lower altitudes. The standard tactic of the 109s was to attempt to climb higher than the RAF fighters and bounce them in a dive. The Hurricanes could evade such tactics by turning into the attack or going into a corkscrew dive, which the 109s, with their lower rate of roll found hard to counter. If a 109 was caught in a dogfight, the Hurricane was just as capable of outturning the 109 as the Spitfire. In a stern chase the 109 could evade the Hurricane. In September 1940, the more powerful Mark II A Series 1 Hurricanes started entering service although only in small numbers. This version was capable of a maximum speed of 342 A miles per hour 550 A kilometers per hour. The Hurricane was a steady gun platform and had demonstrated its ruggedness as several were badly damaged yet returned to base. But the Hurricane's construction made it dangerous if it caught fire the wood frames and fabric covering of the rear fuselage allowed fire to spread through the rear fuselage structure easily. In addition the gravity fuel tank in the forward fuselage sat right in front of the instrument panel without any form of protection for the pilot. Many Hurricane pilots were seriously burned as a consequence of a jet of flame which could burn through the instrument panel. This became of such concern to Hugh Dowding that he had Hawker retrofit the fuselage tanks of the Hurricanes with Linatex, a self-expanding rubber coating. If the tank happened to be punctured by a bullet, the Linatex coating expanded when soaked with petrol and sealed it. However, some Hurricane pilots felt that the fuel tanks in the wings although they were also protected with a layer of Linatex, were vulnerable from behind and it was thought that those and not the fuselage tank, were the main fire risk. From the 10th of July to the 11th of August 1940. RAF fighters fired at 114 German bombers and shot down 80, a destruction ratio of 70%, against the BF-109. The RAF fighters attacked 70 and shot down 54 of these, 
a ratio of 77%. It has been suggested that part of the success of the British fighters was possibly due to the use of the De Wild incendiary round. The hurricane with the highest number of kills during the Battle of Britain was P3308 to Mark 1 flown between the 15th of August and the 7th of October 1940 by RAF auxiliary pilot Archie McKellar of 605 Squadron.1. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.